Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is David Carney. David heads the M&A Integration Services business for Deloitte Consulting. David, you got together with some of your colleagues and pulled them and together came up with some mega trends that you think will be driving deals in the next two to three years. The first one, an obvious one that we're hearing a lot about, is the TARP money. How do you think that might shape deal making going forward? Um, right, the first, so the first one's TARP. We, as we know, there are about 65 to 70 banks who received TARP capital. And not all of that capital will be deployed in, uh, in, in consolidations, but we expect a, a significant amount will, um, especially in the regional bank sector. That's where, I, that's where we'd look mostly for consolidation over the next three to five years. Right, and we, we've seen a lot of it. I know it's kept you very busy, so busy that you're actually moved to New York uh, <laughs> to be uh, right. working with your, your clients on Wall Street. Um, the second one is recession-driven deals. Um, and this is opportunities are, are going to be out there for those who have the courage and the resources to buy in this market. So what do you think we'll see uh, the recession uh, driving deals in what areas? Exactly. With the contraction of gross domestic product, we expect to see winners and losers in retail, in, in consumer products, and in industrial products too. And um, a lot of those, uh, some of that has happened already. We've already seen some of that. We expect that that's a, that's a long-term trend over the next three years. These are all kind of the, the, the two that we've talked about. They're, they're tied together with uh, the government uh, funding, bailout money, the recession. We've mm -hmm. got a new administration coming in. The third trend that you guys have identified are deals in health care reform. Something else we could see, exactly. uh, some changes, some regulation uh, with the Obama administration coming in. Sure, exactly. That's been a stated objective of, of the Obama administration is health care reform. It looks like they have the votes in Congress to get through some of that, if not all of what they would like to get through. Um, we've yet to see the details, but we know this, that the way payers, providers, and pharmaceutical companies get paid will change. The incentives will pay, change, the amounts will change, and as a result, there will be some winners and losers and the need for either consolidation, increase in efficiencies, economies of scale, um, and as a result, kind of deal making. And that's probably a longer term trend over the next three to five years. And we have seen it. That is one area where we have seen some continued deal making, uh, even during these difficult times. We've seen Johnson & Johnson do some deals. Mm -hmm. We saw Procter & Gamble just recently say they're going to kind of draw back on their pharmaceutical business. Exactly. Um, do you think we'll see transformational deals in that sector or uh, larger companies kind of uh, gobbling up smaller companies? I think the, the sector to watch there is is the health plants, the health the, the payers as they're called in the in the industry. That's if there's any sector in healthcare where we'd expect to see transformational deals, it's probably right there. Uh, another trend uh, that will be driving deals are new federal budget priorities. Kind of falls in line with with healthcare, yeah. where we may see that. What other areas in terms of uh, federal uh, funding could affect deal making? Sure. You think about the federal budget. There's been um, a huge increase in the deficit. Right? We expect an increase in health in healthcare uh, expenditure, right, because of the reform we just talked about. Um, and you have to ask yourself, and, and then the, the Obama administration has also started to talk about infrastructure spending, right, and, and, and wanting to use that as stimulus. Well, so where are we going to spend less? And one of the obvious candidates is defense. And so as a result, we wonder kind of what's going to happen in the defense sector, in the aerospace sector, around, um, you know, with, you know, with less federal spend. Right, because a lot of money has been uh, driven into that sector over the last uh, eight years. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you're, you're also expecting uh, more global deals, less domestic deals. Uh, are you thinking in terms of more deal activity within countries or inbound investment, uh, like from the U.S. to places like China and India? Both. The mega trend we actually call Asian wealth, and that's with the increase in the, the growth in GDP and the, in, the uh, rise of the middle class in East Asia and South Asia. We expect to see consolidation within consumer products, within natural resources, within um, within infrastructure in those economies, uh, inside the economies all contained within the country. But um, you know, in addition to that, we've seen deals between developing and developed nations increase at a rate of about 25% a year for the last couple of years. We expect that to continue too. Even with slowing growth uh, in, in China and India? Maybe, um, maybe even more so. Because for as much growth as slowed there, it's, it's slowed here to a negative rate, right? And so the difference is still about the same. David Carney with Deloitte Consulting, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.